Just looking at some maps, chilling with some grapes. Okay, can we look at the grapes? Eat some grapes? Nope. Not much going on. We have uh, a key to look at. <laughs> a strange key. That apparently it's just appeared here. We have no idea where it's from. I'm just saying, how strange could it possibly be if it's on our desk? Okay, pick it up. Come on, Mira, pick it up. Don't just look around. Pick it up, put it in your <laughs> brazier. Return the key. Is this Marjorie's quarters? Hold on, put the key back. <laughs> I thought this was our uh, Tyrell family seal. Yeah, this is Marjorie's shit. Let's leave the key now, although I'm sure it will come in handy later. Let's leave the key for now. Uh, I'm sure maybe Marjorie needs that shit. Oh, yeah, that is the Tyrell uh, sigil. We may as well pick it up. What are we going to do with it? <laughs> is she going to miss the seal if we were to take it? <laughs> take the seal. Uh, I just mean, like, if you need a key. Marjorie? Oh, it was a binary decision. It was one or the other. Okay. Still with the king. I, I don't know what we're going to do with the seal. Maybe we can send a letter ourselves. But the key. I don't think we Mira, could have done anything look, with the key. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. Fair enough. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. <laughs> you can forget what Please you heard. Don't don't, what you heard don't mention it to anyone. Of course. I never would. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Truly. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... If you <laughs> ever... what? What... what seems to be the matter, my dear friend Marjorie? My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Okay, so now you give us privacy. You're fucking kidding me? Oh, what did he say? How is Joffrey? I suppose you talked to... <laughs> How's Joffrey? How... Is King Joffrey, my lady? <laughs> we don't care. Oh. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Shh. I'll need this mended. Shit. God. What, your dress? He need your dress? Mended? Swayed, and he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Oh, I can see, yes, your dress is torn. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even I'm so sorry. When I left what him. can I do to help? What can I do to make this better, my lady? She appreciates There's that, truly. nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. Come on, that's a cop-out. We want to help our family as well. It's not just our mother, Mira. Let's not be so this fickle. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. Uh, sorry, my lady. We realize this, but it's a very dire situation. You have to Soon understand. Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Can we send a letter anyway to the Boltons with Tyrell, Tyrell's family seal? Is that an option? Because that would Melody. be oh, cold boy. Is that you? Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. Uh, how long have you been there? <laughs> how long have you been waiting there? You creepy motherfucker! I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I don't believe that for a moment. I so. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I I can help you if you'd like, and your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous <laughs> for me right now, and for you as well. You needn't worry about me, I can take care of myself. Okay, that Which is why you must puts my me. fears to rest. You need allies. I'll Very well. I'll be useful to you. Let's, let's hear what you have to say. I, I really must go. Okay, Please maybe we can... I know people who... Yeah, you know people who can... What? Get us a people fine deal on coal? You. Oh, I see. <laughs> All the guards are so fucking... 
suspicious, just stomping around. <laughs> I suppose they're they're the eyes and ears, truly, of the king, in a way. Get out of here, you creepy bastard. <laughs> like, I mean, just go about your business. The guy's like, dead ass, though. Okay. Back in Ironrath. Where's Sir Roiland? The man values pride more than honor. This and is what I meant. He's... Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your See, we have... If needed. Uh, we will prevail, I hope so. We will prevail. Our plan is a good one. <laughs> Let's be strong. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Here's the thing, we, we've pissed off Royland, and now he's not going to support us to his utmost, which is really unfortunate as we need his strength right now. That's what I mean. We need everyone to be united at all times. Oh, I, I was kind of thinking we'd be on the other side of the gates. We wouldn't have the gates so much closed. Oh, this is really going to piss everyone off. Something wrong with your gate? Yeah, it's... it's it's broken. <laughs> it doesn't open for... Oh my god, that stare. It doesn't open for soulless... pricks, well, that's... Well, you the little lord. No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? This is, uh... This is how we're gonna now do business, my friend. Oh my god, Ramsey's gonna be... This is so pissed. Lovely pile of timber, isn't it? <laughs> Just you. You're welcome inside. There we go. That's what I really want to want to do. Hear that, men? The Lord of the House says, "Fuck off." <laughs> I think he's afraid of you. Wait here for now. <laughs> oh, Ramsey, you're charming in a really psychopathic kind. Lord Whitehill, what the fuck? I'm fairly certain I said okay. just for you. The new warden of the North. Let me guess, Forrester Iron. Carved by our you're, a, you're a smart one, aren't you? They're Iron <laughs> Ramsey. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about your it. father will your appreciate father it. Your father will appreciate <laughs> it. I hope. Our Ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <gasps> See, it's pretty good. <laughs> not bad. Sorry well, about that, uh... Can your lot do this? Their chap. Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough uh, <laughs> time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Well, at least we have that going for us. Fucking White Hill, get the fuck out of here. Like, White Hill, I, I, I said that Ramsey could come in, you could not. And here you are anyway, just fucking chubbing along. Like some kind of fat Thomas... Oh, he's seeing... He's seeing our stocks. He's seeing our men. Like the army you have. He's, he knows Lord what's up. Forrester. Very impressive. No. Don't say that shit. I know, I know you're jesting. Surely you jest, my friend. And don't call me Shirley. Okay, are we heading to the, gra the fucking Great Hall, or... This is gonna end poorly. I know that Ethan or Duncan or my mother... Maybe even Ryan are just going to get slaughtered by Ramsey. I I have that feeling in my gut already. <laughs> Ethan, don't look so unsure, my friend. You need to be confident. And White Hill... Oh, my God, the blubberous bastard. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord <sighs> Ramsey. Come out where I can see you. Come on, Ryan. Don't be so scared, my friend. It'll be okay. We really must focus on the business at hand. Okay. Uh, you want our fealty? Lord Ramsey, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get oh. to your justice. Good old White Hill. <laughs> First. <laughs> Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say... Oh, I want you truly to tough one. Let's kneel. <laughs> My lord. Ha. After that all, so hard now. Ramsey wasn't is the warden of the north. <laughs> oh Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. 
The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. <laughs> I expect you'll do the same thing. Oh my god, Ramsay, you just look my crazy at all times. King, you wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? See, at this that point, it seems be that we are playing Ramsay off the White Hills. Your father needn't worry. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. Come on, they White Hill. Fuck off. <laughs> it was a forest squire who did it. One mm. White Hill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your White Hill has lied to you. <laughs> Lord White Hill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a White Hill. Oh no. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal banners. Oh boy. Things have gone sour. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Oh uh, no. I'm the White getting... Hills will be taking control of your ironwood first. Oh, oh joy of joys. But that is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the I thought we went over this <laughs> given enough time. God, talking about trees. White Hills will ruin the now, forests. The White Hills had ironwood once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. There you go. <laughs> we'll try Fuck this. you, White Hill. Lord White Hill will take <laughs> half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. Oh. Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure this is no not trouble. Lord White Hill will install a garrison of twenty men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide, Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace and make sure that that will cause more trouble, not less. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Okay, well, apparently they're in already. <laughs> I thought we had the gates barred, but no. Uh, well. The man you trust, my son, Griff. Griff Whitehill, really. We lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Oh. Please, Duncan, don't. Oh. Look at this little fox. Oh, joy of joys. You're not frightened, are you? Oh, this is Ramsey, so please. tense. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Ooh, we have more to we discuss. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Oh, oh Ramsay, boy. Oh, boy. Do you like hunting? Oh no, 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 no. Your sister. We get along well. Oh, take me instead. If you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Even though he did bend the knee. Uh, I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. He's what have you done? However, oh, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. 
Take the boy in your room. No! Kill him. Think if you any trouble. Brian! Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Catch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Please, stop! Don't let him go! Let him go! Stop that! Help me! Stop it! Let me go! Do something! Oh my fucking god! I just fucking knew it! I fucking knew Ramsey would ah, fuck everything up! I'm so sorry, Ethan. I don't oh, your story has begun, you say, next time on Game of Thrones. Here we go. Fuck! Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me, said to me. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until oh, fucking Ryan Asher. Is again, there he is, I believe. We will be ready. So we saw Jon Snow. Without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what my Oh happen? my god. <laughs> fucking Mira's got a knife. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> you at 45% left Bowen behind. Uh, can we click or interact? Nope. You and 69% swore loyalty to the king. Of course. <laughs> you and 38% sent Eric to the wall. I'm sure he will come into Garrett's storyline at some point. How much would that have affected the story, I wonder? Oh my god, I cannot believe Ramsey Snow. He lived up to his name. I mean, he he's an absolute bastard in the show as well, so I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised. But I, I just fucking knew that he would kill Ryan or Talia or Ethan. But as I'm sure Lady Forrester said, Ethan will be known as Ethan the Brave. And as Maester said... What our name is is really up to us, and that is our name. Ugh, fuck. I, can you survive as Ethan? I truly and honestly doubt it, but there we go. 40% meant Ramsey at the gate, and it seems that it... I don't know, would that have made much of a difference? They they got into the fucking castle somehow. I was really hoping that, like I said, as things go south, then they would be outside the gate, but I don't know. How did they get in? Was it Royland? Royland, you fucking prick? I bet it was. Anyway, everyone, thank you for watching. This has been the first episode of Telltale's Game of Thrones. I'm going to be leaving you now, but it seems that we're going through some quick credits for the first episode. I'm sure there's episode or credits for every episode. And what an episode it was. Holy shit. Um... Every time I, I see games like this or play games like this, such as the Banner Sega, I'm always wondering how much have my decisions affected the outcome of the game? Like, I, I don't know, could Ethan have lived? How would the game have gone if Bowman was still alive? Or maybe if I just cut off Eric's fingers, maybe would that have made a difference? Like a, a really um, important difference? Hard to say. Um... But I think it'd be a, a nice experiment to replay the game and do the opposite choices of every choice you've ever made and then see how different it really is. But uh, anyway, as I always do, I'm going to let this, these credits roll. You don't have to watch them. Um, this is just out of respect for the creators of the game. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next uh, episode, actually, episode two of Telltale's Game of Thrones.
Um, the last man in the castle, and my men are going to shoot him to death. Here we go. Load. Wow. Okay. Very nice. Uh, give this man a raise. Looks like, uh, I don't know, Jinbo of the Nagyoka army just shot the last man in the castle in the face, point blank.